You know, as I grow older, it becomes increasingly obvious that there are some incredibly special things that happen between women. Things that pass between them that are far beyond words. Awesome, ageless things. And it seems to me that this happens especially when it's a mother and a daughter. Although we men are on the outside, we can feel these things working, but we can only watch and wonder. It's too long, Lily. No, it's a new look. Everybody's what? wearing it. There's nothing new about long skirts. You're going to break your neck what? in this Don't one. Just get too straight. Short. Hold still, Lily. <laughs> oh. You won't look at me. Oh, you hop look around like a flea. It's going to be all crooked if you just gave me time. Oh, I want to wear it tonight. Please, I want to wear it These tonight. These are just basting stitches. You have to be careful. You're not going to the beach, are you? No. No, I'm going to the movies. Why do you worry so much? Let me finish. Here's a bulletin from Washington. President Truman warned the Soviet Union today that continuing the Berlin blockade would only there. intensify the Cold War. Lily! Oh, who cares about the old Cold War? Don't you love this color, Mama? Mm-hmm. Am I pretty? Pretty enough. Wait here just a minute. This has been in the cedar chest. Your grandma, Margaret, made it. Oh, I love it. I was saving it for your graduation, but... Oh, can I wear it tonight? I'll take care of it, please. Well, don't worry so much. That's what I was always saying to my mother. Well, you're still here, aren't you? Nothing happened. This isn't the Middle Ages. It's 1948. Nothing can happen. Who are you going to the movies with? The girls. Lily. With the girls and the boys. Safety in number one. Bye. Where have you been? Oh, it's thirsty. Oh, pretty Lily. Come on, have another beer. No, no, my mother killed me. Come on, come on, take some. Uh, the port right. spills all over your dress. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that's what you came for. Oh, beautiful Lily. You know I love you. sick at home? No, no. I, 
I'm in trouble, and some of the girls at school said that the you The girls at school don't know nothing. I thought better of you, Lillian. And really, I did. Have you told your mother yet? No. Have you talked to the boy? Wouldn't, no, I mean, he wouldn't care. Uh, can't you give me some pills or something? There are something? no pills for what ails you. Well, uh, a, a doctor, no, then. No, that's against the law. Uh, wait. I've got $80. This is, this is my college money. It's every cent I have. I don't know anybody. I know you know somebody. If, if you don't, you won't help me. and I'll walk up and down the streets. I'll find somebody. I just, I, I don't know what to do. All right. All right, here's an address. Give this to him when you go. He'll know what to do. Thank you. Oh, it's no favor. It's no picnic either. But you've made your bed, now you'll have to lie in it. So low, woman, child, your eyes are wide, telling yourself that it's not there. As you're walking, you can't help wondering, does your mama know? Hello? Richie? Come on, who is this? Come on, is this Gracie? Kid is. Give her a break, Grit. Try. Sure. You try. So eager to make a buck like Hardy. She'll end up bleeding somewhere and we'll hey, end up. What in... are you trying to upset the kid for, huh? Please. 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 
I could do it, I bet. You're crazy. What's to it? She wouldn't talk. Would you, kid? No. You'll do nothing. She's had her fun, and now she's stuck with it. Lillian! Slow as molasses. It's quarter after six. What's wrong? You sick? Well, what? You got cramps? Lily, what's wrong with you? You've been moping around here like I don't know what. You don't want to eat? You don't talk? Are you failing a course? I'll finish seven. Well, just three. Daddy's got overtime tonight. Look at me. Lily, look at me. You're pale as a ghost. You look, you look funny, sort of. Marie, go upstairs. Mama! Go on. I don't believe it. Not my Lily. It's, it's not that bad. It's some of the girls, it's... Oh, Lily. Mom. It's true, then. Who's the boy? It does it doesn't matter. You don't even care for him? It was just a beach party. And I had some beer. But it's a sin, Lily. shock. It's terrible. But it's not the end of everything. Now, we got to think. We got to ask God. There is no God. There is, too, a God. And he didn't get you into this. And he's sure not going to get you out of it. You did a foolish, foolish thing. But it's done. And you're not the first. Here, blow your nose. Now sit up straight. There's only one thing to do that makes any sense. Hear the rustling. The sounds, hear them whispering in town. Something ageless, something old, something dangerous, something bold. Find a signpost, grab a tree, hold on to anything you see. My songs and echo. Sometimes it seems that I'm not there I try to cry but there's no sound A broken door that's all wound down Something's happening, something's wrong Can it be I don't belong? Try to cry, but there's no 
sound A broken toy that's all wound down Something's happening, something's wrong Can it be I don't belong? We're almost there, dear. Did you get Richie at work? They said he's on his dinner break. Uh, try the Shamrock Tavern. I left word with his boss. Wait! Ma, get us there in one piece. I figure we can call Dan from the hospital. He'll get Richie for you. Meanwhile, I'll just have to do. Thanks, Ma. Don't worry. If it's anything like you, it'll take its time. Slow as molasses in January. There we are. Give me the bag. Okay, can you manage? There we go. Oh, this is better. When I had you, I had to go up a whole lot of steps. Was I kicking? Never stopped. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Mom. Okay, we're almost there. downstairs, dying to come up, and Marie. Couldn't you reach him? Now, don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. The main thing is the baby. You mean he doesn't even know? He's at his mother's. He's upset, Lily. It's a big shock. You know, men aren't built to take things the way women are. Never mind what's wrong. You two have a beautiful, perfect baby. Irene Allison McCann. A brand new life. He wanted a boy. A girl's better, believe me. A son's a son till he gets a wife. A daughter's a daughter all her life. Why didn't he come and see her then? No bad thoughts, Lily. It'll curdle your milk. The hell with him. Lily. I want my baby. I want to hold her, Ma. I know. I'm going to love her so much. I'll be with you, always with you. Though another night comes on, snuggle in tomorrow bring another day. Dance upon, yes, I'll be with you, always with you. Though another night comes on, snuggle in tomorrow brings another day to dance upon, another day to dance. 
once upon Irene! Weenie! You're gonna be late for school! Mom! What? Oh! Where may I have kittens? <laughs> well, cats have kittens. Rats have, uh... I don't know, ratlets, maybe. Oh, they're great. Look at that one. Yeah. Come on, let's get you lunch. I don't like chicken sandwiches. I know you don't, but it's better for you. Now, don't eat that sweet stuff, okay? I'm trying to eat the carrot sticks. Do you have a nickel for milk? Oh. You keep your crazy hair in place, all right? Okay. Here are your books. You sent home from work? No, why? I don't know. You're not rushing. Well, I am, too. You forgot your lunch. Can I say goodbye to my babies? All right. Goodbye, babies. Can I bring Tina to see my babies? Uh, not today. I want you to go over to Aunt Marie's after school. Why? Why? Why do you love Aunt Marie? Yeah. I have to work late, and that's that. Now go. Then my babies will be all alone. Mothers and babies love to be alone together. She might eat them. Don't be ridiculous. Mommies don't eat their babies. But my teacher said... Now, your teacher might be very smart, but I'm the one that knows about babies. Believe me, the mommy will take care of them. You forgot your lunch. Give me some sugar. Mommy, I love you better than anybody. I picked you out. You did? From all the others in the big room. I could have had anybody. And you picked me? Right. So be careful. And don't let old Mr. Hammer get your goat, okay? Okay, little old lady. And get just warm. Warm. Did you make a wish? Yes, of course I did. Are you sure? Yes, I made was a wish. Was it a good one? You take your lunch and okay. it was a good one. Now, do, remember to don't run, keep your dress clean, and remember Aunt Marie. Coffee with the front desk. Who is it? No, I can't come in today. But Lillian, it's inventory. I know, I know, but something awful happened. I have a cold. A cold? I just feel awful. I can't come in. You think you'll be better by tomorrow? Absolutely, of course I'll be better tomorrow. And even if I'm not, I'll be there. Well, I... Oh, say thank you, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. you had to work on weekdays. Oh, yes. Well, I took the day off. Sick. Oh, you don't look a bit sick. Oh, well, I'm not. I mean... <laughs> oh, there. Oh, was that for me? I love candy. You know, when I was little, I used to eat it all the time. There, were, there was a kind with a map on the top, and it used to have marzipan and nuts and raisins and marshmallows and... The, Um, would, would you like me to take your coat? Oh. You leave those candies alone. <laughs> oh. Well, did you like it? As much as you like candy. <laughs> Do you want some more coffee? Do you know how nice it feels to have somebody do for you? Traveling all the time, selling at dime stores. Uh, 
just a little lunch. Eating in hotel restaurants, you forget what good food tastes like. You must have family or friends, places you come back to. And there are some people I can call for drinks or cards. But when you get to be my age and you've never been married, they give you up as a lost cause. No, I meant I never wanted to get married, Lou. Neither did I. It wasn't much of a marriage. I mean, he left right after the baby. I don't even know where he is. Must have been hard for you. I don't miss him. I mean, I never knew him, to tell you the truth. But I do have my daughter. Well, a woman as pretty as you, you'll marry again. Mm, everybody in this town knows everybody. And if you're not married by the time you're out of high school, there's nobody left. <laughs> Traveling, then? Sometimes. You do tell the truth, don't you? Traveling men don't like children. I like children. Do you have to leave now? No, no I, I just... I just want to touch you. It gets so lonely. through town once a month and I want to see you. I want you to have time for me. I've got nothing but time. No one else that matters? No, only Rini. No other man? No other man. Rini's coming over after school today. Is she? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I'll drop over. I haven't seen her since Sunday. Billy's taking off from work. Let's get a box of raisins. Rini loves them. Don't you understand anything? Ma, Lily's got one of those men up there. I bet anything. You don't know that. I know Lily. What if Rini were to find out? You're so hard on Lily Marie. She's never really had someone of her own. You should try to understand her. I worry about Rini. So does Lily. Not enough. You know, you can just never say anything bad about Lily. I love both my daughters. Why do you always judge her so harsh? You'll have a child, too, one day. Don't lose heart, Marie. Something's happening, something's wrong Can it be I don't belong?
going on? Free No, no! Stop it! No! Wait, come, come inside. I don't want you! Come now! Here! Now! Will you free? Get in here! No! Stop it! Free me! No! Get him out of here! Get out! Get out! Honey, Get. Honey, it's not what you think. Get Listen. out! I never lied. Said you had to work. I went to the store. Oh, I told Aunt Marie. You weren't sick. You didn't have a cold. I lied to them. I didn't lie to you. I had a surprise. My cage. The teacher said the mommies do do eat them sometimes. And now the cage is broke. Oh, come here. All right, <laughs> all right. I'll get you another cage. They have them at the store. I don't want it. Promise me he'll never come here. I don't have to. I'm scared him half to death. Was I awful? Mm-hmm. You were awful, too. Promise me you'll never get married. <sighs> I won't have the chance. Promise me you're mine. You'll love me best, always. Promise? What if I promise never to eat you up? Promise me? Would you promise me? That's different. I'm a little girl. Oh, did you do well, girl? Come over, Come over here. Come over here. You <laughs> crazy hair. <sighs> All right. I promise. Oh, Mommy, I love you best forever and ever. I'm your friend. Yesterday's a long way gone. Keep the piper playing on. We've kept the pirate ships at bay for we're the dancing stowaways. Singing, I'll be with you always with you. Though another night comes on. Snuggle in tomorrow brings another day to dance upon. When we're anchored safe and sound, play that music box we found. Though the winter winds will blow, we'll keep on dancing as we go. Singing, I'll be with you, always with you. Though another night comes on, snuggle in. Tomorrow brings another day to dance upon. Reenie? We're late. Reenie, what are you doing? Nothing. Did you use my perfume? Why should I? That's not what I asked. No, but I used your bath powder. Heaven and night. You are too young for that. I was teen. Just. Juliet was only 13. Please don't treat me to that again, my Let's mom. See All right. Who do you think is the cutest man in the whole world? Guess. I don't know. Um, Come on, guess. <sighs> President Kennedy. He's too old. Too old? For who? Ma. All right, who's the cutest boy in your class? My class, they're all drips. But the senior class. Yeah? The senior class is really sexy. Happy 
Happy birthday! Oh! Hi, Grandma. You look like a real young lady. <laughs> Happy birthday, Hi. 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 Let's go sit down. Sit here. Oh, oh. Birthday girl. Wish I wish my wish comes true. Wish I wish my You're wish comes true. You're not doing it the right way, oh, Lily. Thumb, thumb, let it come true. Touch, blue. <laughs> what goes up the chimney? Smoke. Then your wish and my wish will Smoke. never be broke. <laughs> what did you wish for? I can't tell you. It's bad luck if you tell. <laughs> oh, come on, we need dishes. Well, she's the guest of honor. She can clean up. You guys better clear out now. You just get in the way. Marie, it's not your house. Lillian, it's your daughter's birthday. Don't act like such a witch. I worked all week. What did you do? I sat on my behind and played with the baby. Mm -hmm. You just get out of that dime store. Yeah, I'll do what? Model bras? <laughs> Lily. I have to be trained for something. I'm not trained. When Winnie grows up, she's going to have a profession. If I have to grind myself into dust in that dime all store. All right, all right. I don't want a profession. I want to get married and have babies like Aunt Marie. You'll do what I say. Lily. A woman has to have a profession. You know, I read in the papers the other day where women live much longer than men. You know what the divorce rate is? What if something happened to Dad? Or if you and Don... Nothing's um, going to happen to me and Don. If, but if... Lily! I'm pregnant again. <gasps> oh, oh, Marie! Marie! Marie. <laughs> oh, when? December, a Christmas baby. I'll babysit. I bet you want a girl this time. Oh, I do. Mm. I want a little girl just like you. Little girl, look again. You think I'm grown up? You don't act like it. Keeping her in these baby dresses. Marie, will you mind your own business? Lillian, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry she has always done this. Sniffing her bottles to see if they're sour. Oh, please. Coming up to see if there's anyone there. I never did anything you like did that. You did and you do. That is my daughter. You have your own kid. Now leave mine alone. Mommy, don't I get to say something? No! My fault she does it. Did something happen today? Her job? No, I don't, I don't think so. What's the matter with me? so mean then why oh you're tired shouldn't have had the party here should have been at my house oh, I like it better here ah oh, you were always so wise how did you get that way hmm? <laughs> you remember that blue dress how I <laughs> inched it up you were so mad <laughs> Yeah, I do. The new look. You were right, I did make it too short. Well, you were right about most things. So will you be. You're just tired, Lily. <sighs> you know, that kid is my whole life. She's getting so big. Have you told her about maturing? No. You think I should? I mean, I was 15. Well, she's got a nice little figure already. You better tell her before the other girls do. You mean Marie? What did you tell me? Oh, I don't know. That a little door would open, I think. And you'd know you were a woman. <laughs> That's not one I knew, Ma. <laughs> oh. 
All right. I'll tell her tonight. with the little rubber dots on the end. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? You used to love them. You're growing up, Weenie. Something is going to happen very soon. Going out with boys? No. Why do you always think about boys? You should think about school. I do. I'll get good grades. What I'm trying to say, Rini, is that, um... Well, your body is going to be changing. Like this? Well, yes, that and the other things. Uh... You see, a mature woman has, a um, Well, every month... Uh, uh, the gym teacher told us about that. Well, she did, ages ago. Well, don't you have any questions? Aren't you scared? Why should I be? Some of the girls have it already. They say it's nothing. Nothing? Are you crazy? It's not nothing. You sound like you're scared. Well, I am. I am not... Not for you, but for me. I mean, the mother of a grown woman. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. Whenever it happens, I want to be there. I'd like you to call me. You might be busy. I won't be busy, I promise. I'm your mother. Me. Nobody else. I know, Mommy. Didn't I pick you? Good night. Happy birthday. I should stop by the store and call your mother? Oh, no, don't. If she takes time off, Mr. Hammer docks her. I'll be all right. Will you call her? Lily told you about this, didn't she? Oh, yeah. I just didn't think it would happen so soon. Get some rest. Why, what's the matter, dear? Mrs. Tractor, I feel sick. Oh. Well, now you come right in. I remember when that happened to me. And my mother gave me some of this. Now, not the liquor. Oh, you're too young for that. But just the cherry. It's all right. She arrived. What? Well, you know, a woman. Hi, Ma. Weenie. Weenie, when? Why didn't you call me? Well, you were at work. Amory brought me home. Hmm. I took yeah. care of her. Oh, no. Whiskey, you didn't. No, no, just the cherries. They're good. Yes, try some. They won't hurt you. Uh, Lily, you can bring the jar back later. Thank you. Weenie! Weenie, this 
was such an important day. I should have been with you. You are? Your body. You could have a baby now. Like Aunt Marie. Like me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Mommy. <laughs> I arrived. <Yeah. laughs> They're too short. I don't want them dragging. Well, I like them that way. The kids at school laugh if they can see your ankles. No, don't take them off in here. Why not? Nobody can see. You're a young girl. You have a nice figure. No, I don't. I'm fat. Who's Frank? Who? Frank. He called at Aunt Marie's when I was there last night. Kid from school. Who? A kid from school. Why did he call there? He thought I was babysitting. I got the days mixed up. Is he nice? What is this, the Warren Commission? He's nice. He's smart. He isn't a hippie. Hey, you know, man, I'm helping him with his French. Does he smoke? I'm sorry I asked you to do this. You look tired. Is Grandma any better? The doctors gave him mom some new medicine. Do you want to come over with me tonight? No, I invited some friends over to do homework. Boys? Girls. Lock the door. Why do you worry so much? No bad man is going to come and steal me. Frank Humboldt in San Francisco. They say it started here. They hate Ashbury. On this very street. It's a world of free love. Ma? Ma! It is a so-called turned-on, turned-off generation. Ma! As you can see the young people standing behind me. Ma! Why, these young flower what are you watching? believe in Look a minimum of support. The way those hippies dress nowadays, you can't on. tell the boys from the girls. It's too loud. Turn it off. In a depression. This is Eric those girls will be down to here in no time. You tell Rainey to wear a good support bra. Well, you look good. How do you feel? Like an old cheese box that ought to be thrown away. Have you had your supper? Why should I eat, Lillian? Can you tell me that? To keep up your strength. Uh, I'm weak as water. You know what the doctor says. When your father died, I sat with him. At the end, he opened his eyes and said, Mother, I think I'm dying. And you? I said, then I'm glad I'm with you. Just don't lie to me, Lily. That's all I ask. Now, let's talk about something else. Where's Rini? She's at home. Doing our school work with friends. All girls. So she tells me. Things haven't changed too much, have they? I want you to try and eat something. Lily, I'm going to leave a little money. Not much, but it'll help with Rini's college. Please don't. Is Marie still having morning sickness? And she thought she'd never have any babies. Where is she now? She's at home. Why? And Don? And the children? At home. You go home too, Lily. When we're in good, safe and sound, play that music box we've found. Though the winter winds will blow, we'll keep on dancing as we go. Singing, I'll be with you, always with you. Though another night comes on, snuggle in the mama.
time of grace, another day to dance upon, another day to dance upon. I don't believe I'm going through this. Same thing with Ma. Same complaints, too short. Oh, oh. All right, I'll wash it and then I'll see. Rainy, just let me even. No. Just, oh, no. Come on. No. No. no, 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 no. I like it. I like it. It's beautiful. Oh, it's, all right, I, you I are love too it. much. Too much. No, I'm not. I'm just right. <laughs> Uh, are you going to get a new dress? No, I'm going to wear the old one. Oh, why? You always wear that to Anne Marie's christening. It must be a waste to get another one. Well, you could go out on dates. A lot of mothers go out. Who am I going to go out with? Mr. Hammer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Why not? He likes you. Yes. And uh, teenage manager. Yeah, I'd rather stay home with you and watch television. Well, you should have friends of your own age. I have friends at the store. Oh, those girls are too dumb for you. They don't have any brains, any ambition. They're just waiting to get married. Well, I'm not concerned with that. Why? You're still young and pretty. You could get married. I've been married, Rini. I don't want to do it again. It isn't that silly promise when I was a kid, is it? I don't remember any promise. I just want you to have a happy life. Rini, I have a happy life. You're it, period. Now, weren't you going over to Tina's? Yeah. I'm going to take my PJs. I might be sleeping over. Slumber party? If you do, will you call me because I worry? Okay. Mm. Don't stay out past 11. Okay. You won't be lonely? No. If you don't get out of here, I'm going to cut the other side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm a tangled up puppet Hanging in your strings I'm a butterfly in a spider's web Fluttering my wings And the more that I keep dancing And spinning round in knots The more I see what used to be and the less of you by around one to take you to the christening. Now, if there's anything you need in the morning, give me a call. Ma? 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 There was a time that you curled up in my lap like a child. You cling to me smiling Your eyes wide and wild Now you slip to my arms Wave a passing hello Twist away and toss a kiss Laughing as you go You wanted to grow up. This is lesson number one. Doc, I know, but shh, 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 shh. this is lesson number two. Tell him I can't. Damn. I hate this little girl teaser act. 
It's not like you, Irene. I don't want to beg, understand? Yes. You wanted to. Yes. Well? Oh, hell. Listen, you want to go someplace else? I got a friend who has a place. I want to. Really. It's just I keep thinking, what if my mother calls Tina? <laughs> Tina will say you're asleep. I... I know she will. I just think I really should be at home. anybody else I could think of. And then it dawned on me. Either you were dead, or you were having fun. I hope he was worth it. That little scene with the hair. Oh, Mama, Mama, I hope you're happy. I want you to have friends. I didn't know what you were saying to me. You were saying, don't hang on to me, Ma. Ma. Leave me alone, Ma. And I feel your pain now, Ma. It was, it was just a little white lie. <gasps> You're drunk. That's what it is. I, I needed you. I should have told you the truth. I went on a date. This is my punishment. I'm sorry. Oh. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. You do that! Well, what else do you want? My mother died tonight. tonight you're sure you be very careful I have to grow up not at 16 my mother told me and I didn't listen just because you got married young I'm gonna have me doesn't mean I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to college and I'm going to have a profession and be independent just like you said you'll see Mom, I'm your girl, but I'm growing up, and I'm not you. You're me, all right. it always be like this something like a, a loving war same and different so it seems pull it apart before you share a dream caught in the middle of the raging stream something like a, a loving war are you like me am i like you nobody really knows what to do all the reasons for what Something like a, a loving war. These are the days that the real people live. These are the ways that the real people give. Put it together and you see once more. It's a loving war. A loving war. A loving war. The complete love.
lunch, everything. Oui, madame. Mom. And wine. We want wine. My daughter's going away to college. What's a good wine for that? Hmm. Une carafe de la maison? I wanted something uh, with a cork that pops. Ah, champagne. It's too fancy. A sparkling wine, perhaps. Spumanti. How's that sound? Okay. Oui, madame. I want this to be a day. It's special. A memory. It's very important. I know. I mean, it's important for you. It's a beginning, a whole new life. Nothing's changed. Oh, yes. A lot's going to change. Our flesh and my flesh, my blood and bone. Something I made that I don't own. When you're all grown up, I'll be all alone. A loser in the loving war. And these are the days that the real people live. These are the ways that the real people give. Put it together and you see once more, it's a loving war. A loving war, a loving war. I guess this is it. Good. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm Susan March. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I already took the best bed. I hope you don't mind. Uh, no. Irene McCann, this is my mom. Hi. My folks are over at the parents' mixer. To tell you all about what to expect here. Illicit drugs, drinking, unwanted pregnancies. You going? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Excuse me. I'd just like to get to my wife. Oh. It's Lily, isn't it? Yes. Oh, you mind if I sit down? No. Sure, sure. Your, your daughters would be about college age. Yeah. My wife, uh, that's who you saw, uh, has two grown kids, the boy and uh, a girl who's starting here. Oh, I guess that's what I always wanted, a family. Oh, Lily. I can't believe it. What's been happening to you? Are you still in uh, Brinkerville, was it? Brinkerville, yes. Uh, nothing's really changed. Uh, I have a better job. And uh, I'm still Lily McCann. <laughs> I thought about you for a long time, Lily. That was some scene. I, I was so damn dumb. I, I should have stood my ground with your little girl. And afterwards, I was too embarrassed to call. And I must have seemed like such a jerk. There was nothing. Oh. Nothing you could do, really. Nothing. She was a little kid. Lily, I should have. Well, at least I, I shouldn't have left you that way. I, I always wanted to tell you that, and today I had to grab the opportunity. I hope I, I haven't upset you or anything. It's only 
It's such a wild coincidence. Would you rather I hadn't come after you? No. Yes. Do you think I wanted to talk to you? Didn't you see me walk out? I don't care. I don't give a damn about your regrets. I don't have any regrets. I'm sorry. I... Do you think I care if you're married or not? Well, I don't. Do you think I've given you one thought in all these years? I haven't. I don't even remember your name. Susan's bed. Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. How is the parents' mixer? Did you meet my folks? Well, no, I didn't. Um, I thought maybe we'd go out and have dinner, the three of us, before I head back home. Gee, uh, I'd love to, Mrs. McCann, but we're supposed to stay here. Uh, there's a freshman sing later, and, uh, you oh. Know. Well, some of the parents hang around till tomorrow. There'll be another party and I, some speeches. I can't take another day off work. Well, then, uh, I guess you and Irene would like some privacy. I'll see you at the dining hall, Irene. Okay. I'll leave a note in the door for my folks. Goodbye, Mrs. McCann. Bye. Going. I'm gonna miss you. Sure, sure. I'll walk you down. Mom, I'm scared. I've never been on my own before. Uh, you're not alone. Yes, I am. Well, no, you're not. There's Susan and all those girls. They're different from me. Different in what way? I don't know. The rich, for one thing. Well, yes, but you're rich in spirit and opportunities. Well, you'll grow and you'll learn. This is a rich girl's school. Yes. It isn't your fault, but I don't want to stay here. Well, you're going to stay here, Rini. I could go to another college. I'll go to... No, Rini, no! Well, I thought you'd be glad. I guess I've been a drag on you. I, I kept you from doing things that you wanted to do, but now your dreams come true. You can go home and tell everybody that you sent your kid to college. What are you talking about? I struggled and I saved for you. For you. You did it for you. You ran my life all these years. If I had my wish, you wouldn't have been born. Rini. I didn't mean that. I'm tired. I've been driving all day. Rini. When I was your age, I was married. I didn't have a chance. I know. Is it so wrong for me to want a chance for you? Listen to me, Rini. Do you understand me? Yes. Really, I understand. I wish you did. I really do. I'll write you every week. Wonderful. And, um, I'll keep track of my money. I'll keep my grades up. Goodbye. Drive carefully. Give my best to Aunt Marie. Yes. Yes. Flesh of my flesh, my blood and bone. 
Something I made that I don't own When you're all grown up, I'll be all alone They call it a loving war is good here. Uh, but it's full of garlic. Uh, never, never eat garlic before sundown. And for Derek's sake, never ask. <laughs> here. To the bride. Thank you, Mrs. Drake. You know, Irene, I've been meaning to ask you. What do you plan to call me? I don't know. What would you like? Well, Mrs. Drake won't do. And Dinah's so casual. How about Mother? Mother and daughter, mom and sis Hey, little girl, can you spare a kiss? Why must it always be like this? Something like a, a loving war Are you like me? Am I like you? Nobody really knows what to do All the reasons for what we are going through Something like a loving war It's been a long time I'd invite your mother to the concert, Irene. There, it's playing tonight. Would you like to come? <laughs> well, I... No, thanks. I'm... I'm tired from the plane. I have to get my dress out. I'll see you at the rehearsal tomorrow. Bye. She said she was a little tired. She'd see us tomorrow at the rehearsal. I'm looking forward to meeting her. It's been a long time. I love her a lot. We're just very different. Oh, yesterday's a long way come. Keep the piper playing on. We've kept the pirate ships at bay for with the dancing stowaways. Singing, I'll be with you, always with you. Though another night comes on. Snuggle in the marble brings another day to dance upon. Oh, my mama, I've been here. Do you, Derek, take Irene to be your wife, to love and to cherish, till death do you part? I do. Do you, Irene, take Derek? To be your husband, to love, and to cherish, till death do you part? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Don't you dare. 
These people. They're terrific people. She belongs to them. The lawyers and musicians. I know. I and he's know. He's crazy about her. Rini will have a wonderful life. Do you begrudge her that? Oh, of course not. I gave up my whole life so she could have it. Lily, you did not. What do you know about it? When do your kids grow up? I won't be like you. What do you mean, selfish and rotten? Crazy. You never had her. Children are just lent to you. Is that your religious mother-in-law talking? Now you listen to me. I will not. You have four. I have one. My one and only child. I have nothing else to live for. Oh, Lily. What do you think? Rini owes you something just because she was born? Oh, what do you know about it? Any cat can have kittens, Lily. Marie! Rini. You never really mothered Rini. And when I tried to help, you just pushed me out of the way. Oh, you mean buddy and play good auntie, fairy godmother. Oh, you are impossible. She's mine. She's grown up. She's married. <sighs> Lily, it's natural. Jeez, oh, I have. She hasn't even lived with you for five years. But you don't know what we had together. Oh. But you will know. Your time will come. Having a good time, Mother? Yes, Champagne? Thank you. Shall we sit? Irene tells me you're leaving tomorrow. I have to get back to work. You have uh, a dress shop? In partnership. It's very small. And far away from the children. I wonder. This is a good city. And now with all the new suburban malls, we're planning several new stores. And Irene says you have department store experience. Mr. Drake, are you offering me a job? Yes, if you would consider it. Uh, of course, you needn't give me an answer right away. Oh, I'm so surprised. I don't know what to think. I should talk to Rini. As a matter of fact, she suggested it. Really? It was such a beautiful, beautiful wedding. Thank and you. I'd like you to have this. Well, thank you. Can and I you... open it? Yes, yes, it's, it's not much. I mean, you, you don't need very much. Grandma gave it to me. Her mother made it. It's lovely. Thank you. Irene, the car's waiting. Um, in a minute. I just talked to your father-in-law about the stores. Yes. Well, what do you think? I'm very flattered, and I think I could be of use. All those years at Malone's ought to add up to something. Did you talk to Derek about it? Not exactly. Well, there are all those jokes about living with mother-in-laws. I wouldn't be a pest. But there's Mrs. Drake. Oh, no. Mother Drake isn't like that. She's very busy with her own life. Well, so am I, dear. I mean, I'd be giving up something to come all the way to San Francisco. I just thought you'd want to. You're alone now. Why do you say alone like that? Well, aren't you? I don't think of it that way. You worked very hard for me. Now I can pay you back. I just... Maybe I would just like to take care of you. Oh, Rini, you were always such a good little mother. I feel a responsibility. Is that wrong? It's not wrong. It's unnecessary. You don't owe me anything. 
I'm grown up and you're grown up. And now it's time that I went home to live my own life. I know I spoiled your chances. Don't hold it against me. Oh, that's not true, Rini. You don't have to lie. I was always in your way. I knew it. I could feel it. That's not fair. You were just a kid. I was all you had. I understood that. Well, you can relax now. Because finally I'm off your hands. I never complained. Irene. I call myself Irene now. Why do you do that? I try to talk to you. I try for some understanding. I do understand you. And I love you. I just tried to, to help you. I thought that you would like to be near Derek and me, so I tried to arrange it. But if that isn't what you want... No, that's not what I want. Well, then I guess I'll just see you when the babies come. Good. Have a child, be a mother. Wipe its bottom and hold its head. Then you'll know me, whether you want to or not. Oh, God, I hope it's a girl. Irene. So you win, you lose, you keep paying dues And the days keep slipping away And you love, you hate, but time will not wait So make it a holiday Mrs. McCann? Mrs. McCann? Oh. There's no card. This doesn't need a card. Oh, the kind that smell. Where does he get them? This is McCann? <gasps> yes. Oh. Mrs. Vane wants the purple velvet. Can't she return it for the blue if her husband hates it? Yes, but remind her that we are closed all Christmas week. Did your reservations come through okay? All set. I can't believe it. You know, it's the first vacation I've had in... I don't know how many years. And he's so handsome. <laughs> He's more than that, dear. Sing a song of beginnings, a song of the ends. Say hello and then slip away. Merry Christmas, Mike. I was hoping to hear you at least once say my name. But the waiting just part of the game. So you win. You lose, you keep paying dues The time keeps slipping away And you love, you hate Time will not wait So make it a holiday Make it a holiday Dear Mother, Hope the Christmas season finds you well for Friday because, I don't... I don't like to tell you bad news. I'm seven months pregnant. It took every fertility clinic in the country to get me this way. But now the baby's in trouble. Putting me into the hospital? I'm scared, Ma. Now it's Ma. You are my mother. And I really want you with me. Please come if you can. As ever, Irene. a circle sunrise and sundown the moon rolls through the night time till the daybreak comes around all my life's a circle but I can't tell you why the season's spinning around again the years keep How 
How is Rini? Worried. And the baby? We hope she doesn't lose it. The heartbeat is strong. But the baby is so small, it's difficult to come into the world at seven months. Uh, can I get you a drink or some coffee? No, thanks. It's been so long since I've seen Rini. I... Uh, I'm surprised she asked me to come here. You're her mother. Yes, but you're the one that's been close. She wanted you. I've made so many mistakes. I don't know that I'll know what to say to her. You came. Maybe that's all she wants, Lily. Just to know that you're here, and that you're part of it. Maybe. some breakfast? Uh, just coffee, thanks. Okay. How was your flight? It was fine, fine. You still drink a black? I'm a little easier on myself now. Cream and sugar. I'm sorry I wasn't awake when you got in last night. Well, it's all right. It's all right. You need to rest. I did wake up in the middle of the night. I came in to see how you were. Still playing little mama, huh? Did I do that? Well, you know we brought each other up. I must have been a handful. So was I. Are you sure the doctor says this is okay? Yes, a little exercise is good for me. Really. What's going on? It's toxemia. It isn't too bad yet, but it could be. <laughs> I never did have that career you wanted so much for me. Being Derek's wife is enough. Wanting babies. I've always wanted babies. Well, Marie had a hard time at first. Look at her now. Yeah. How is she? Oh, she's fine. Fine. Everybody's fine. And you? I hope I didn't mess up your Christmas. There was something going on, but... I well, did it again, huh? No, you didn't do anything, Rini. Get that out of your head. I'm not disappointed. I'm proud of you. We're two people. Different lives. You wanting a baby is a compliment to me. You think so? Well, I must have done something right. You carry like a balloon. You're enormous. Thank you. <laughs> we all did. I hardly remember Grandma. It's a shame. She was wonderful. She loved you. She was with me when you were born. 
I'm glad you're with me. Me too. And about being a grandma, I'm thrilled. I have to tell you that. I want this baby so much. What we've been through in the past six years. Doctors and clinics. Derek really wants this baby, but not the way I do. <laughs> half of my friends are on birth control pills. The other half want zero population growth. But me! If I lose this baby, you won't. If I do, I'll die. I'll have to start all over again. It's my child. It has a name. It's a child, Lily. What? It's a child. It's ironic. You tried so hard not to get pregnant, and I couldn't get pregnant. You tried to lose me. No, I didn't want to lose you. I was desperate. I was frightened. I was a kid. It was an accident. But my God, if I hadn't had you, what would my life be like? You were my life. I wished everything for you, and that was dumb. I made a lot of mistakes. But I loved you so much. You never love anyone like that. I love you, too. I know. And it happens over and over. It doesn't matter why. Grandma used to say, a son is a son till he gets a wife. Have a daughter, Remy. <laughs> circle, sunrise and sundown, the moon rolls to the night time, till the daybreak comes around, all my life's a circle, but I can't tell you why, the seasons spinning around again, the years keep rolling by. All my life's a circle, sunrise and sundown. The moon rolls through the night time till the daybreak comes around. All my life's a circle, but I can't tell you why. The seasons spinning. 